I'm Christina Walsh, and I'm the Student Engagement Coordinator at the College of Agricultural Sciences at Oregon State University. I've been working in higher education now for about 15 years, and during that time, I've been very fortunate that conversations around inclusion and diversity have been a priority at the institutions where I've worked. I've done some education around diversity and inclusion with students, and I've definitely benefited from a lot of professional training thanks to the support of my institutions. However, I've seen the conversations change and evolve over the years. And on occasion, I've had to work through challenges with my own biases and assumptions, and that's been uncomfortable at times. And I'd like to work with students to move through their challenges, biases, and assumptions as well. Being an educator and inspiring others isn't always about having the right answers or being a cheerleader. It's often about doing the hard work, and that work is never done, particularly in the area of diversity and inclusion. It's important that I continue to listen to others. It's important that I frequently ask myself how I'm doing with this work and what I'm doing to create a more inclusive world. I need to frequently assess how I can be better and acknowledge when I fail. And I want to help others learn to challenge the narratives and stereotypes they were raised with. Currently, I work in an environment where a lot of my students come from homogenous communities and conversations around the meaning of diversity and inclusion have been scarce. I see this as a remarkable opportunity to touch the lives of students who've never had to think about issues like their implicit bias or privilege or the historical trauma one, ex one experiences due to one's race or identity. My presence as an out and visibly queer person who's, who's a teacher and an advisor to these students already challenges their assumptions about identity and labels. Each day I come to work and I am cognizant. I challenge some folks' comfort zone. Yet I reach out and engage them on a human level, hoping to break down that discomfort and open up dialogue and, more importantly, a human connection. I only hope my work in diversity and inclusion has made a difference for some, and hopefully many, changing the hearts and minds one, inter one interaction at a time.